Hello again YouTube and I'm back with another video and in this video I'm just showing you uh, one of the projects that I've been working on and uh, just kind of finished it today. Um, as you know, or many of you may, may or may not know, that my vehicle runs with these things here. These are ultra capacitors and I have it in a, like, a, like a battery box and this is a spare one that I had. And uh, this is kind of what it looks like to, you know, to kind of let you know that when you look at this, okay, this is the one that's actually in my car. It's exactly the same as this, okay? So what I have here is my ultra capacitors inside of my car, and I don't use car batteries anymore. And, and you know, quite frankly, I'll, I'll never have to use a car battery in this vehicle again. Um, <clears throat> and so what I have is these ultra capacitors in my project is one that I, I uh, added a a um, a, a uh, heavy duty relay um, so that I could you know kind of use it in conjunction with this. This is a manual switch. Now one of the um, I won't call it a downside, but one of the things that you have to take into account when dealing with uh, these ultra capacitors is the fact that these things are not like batteries in a sense that they do not store a huge amount of uh, you know, they don't store a huge amount of, of, of energy, right? They are capable of giving a huge amount of power at, you know, in a burst, but not, they don't store a lot of energy. So what happens is when you turn off the vehicle, uh, the car accessories, you know, the, you know, the clock, uh, the radio settings, the engine, uh, computer, you know, units, um, you know, these things take power and they will drain this capacitor bank, right? So, in order for me to deal with this, you know, um, I can either A, go with a lithium battery as a backup in here, or I can just simply, like I did, I just put a switch in, a manual switch. I put some green tape around it because I'm not using this anymore. Uh, but it's in there as a just in case. If this particular relay goes bad, then obviously I need to, you know, drive. So I can just engage this manual switch. So this is what I had in before. So essentially what, what happens is I, you know, I would have to, you know, when I pull into, you know, the garage or get to my destination, you know, if I'm going to stay overnight or something, what I would have to do is I would literally have to pop the hood and disengage that switch and therefore, you know, disconnecting the, you know, the ultra capacitors from the car. And so, you know, and you know, it's not a big deal, you know, especially, you know, for me, and you know, I, my car is not for show. My car is for driving from point A to point B. Um, it's just four wheels. It's for me, it's just a vehicle, right? And so, you know, I don't put any stock into it. Okay. It's just a vehicle for me. So I get up now, you know, I'll pop the hood and disengage the switch and do my business, get up in the morning or whatever, and, you know, re-engage the switch and go about my business. Um, you know, with ultra capacitors, you know, I, I don't really, I don't really listen to the radio or anything like that. So it's no big deal for me. If the clock is off, you know, it doesn't, it takes me a, you know, a whole, you know, one minute to reset it. So it's no big deal. I don't have radio stations, so it's nothing to me. So, but the thing is, you know, I'm like, well, is there a better way to do this? You know, I was sitting there thinking, thinking about it, thinking about it. And my, cha my channel, as far as I'm concerned with me, it's about thinking outside of the box, thinking of new ways of doing things. So what I come up with, you know, went to Amazon and I saw this heavy duty relay, right? So, you know, I, you know, got the wires and so forth and, you know, and there it is, 12 volt, 250 amps, you know, more than handle it, you know, kind of, uh, you know, mounted it inside of the, on the box so it won't be going anywhere. So it's, it's there, it's in place. And to control it, I'm using something like this. This is a Wemos, Wemos, W-E-M-O-S, Wemos D1 Mini. This is a microcontroller, right? A microcontroller, similar to uh, if you've ever heard of an, an ESP8266 or an ESP32. Basically a microcontroller. And this is a, you know, a relay, okay, that I use to control another relay, okay? So essentially, this is a, a relay that you know closes a switch, and this one here uh, closes a circuit, and this engages, this controls this relay, and so uh, essentially, this uh, makes the connection uh, from the car. Uh, I mean, to from the ultra capacitor bank, you know, this stuff right here, the ultra capacitor bank to the car, and it's tied in right there. Okay, so you can see that these things here, these both of these switches, they're they're not in series. They are in parallel with each other, 
and they are not dependent on each other, okay? So if this thing dies, no big deal. I'll just engage this switch and I'm in business again. Okay, now to power this thing, I got it connected to a one of those little, you know, little batteries down there. I don't know if you can see it. It's right down there, okay? You can see it, it's kind of, you know, clipped on and so forth. So that's a little battery that I had in here that I never really used, um, you know, as a backup. But I was like, you know, I never really need, needed it. But so I just, you know, use that. It's 12 volts. Has a decent amount of amp hours because this thing right here really doesn't draw a lot of power, okay? And the box is just an electrical box that I got from uh, Lowe's. And you can do the... You can get one from Lowe's. I mean, you can get them from Lowe's really cheap. So as opposed to buying these, you know, project boxes off of Amazon, just go to your Lowe's or Home Depot and get your own uh, project box and make it yourself. And I Velcroed it in so it's uh, nice and tight. Now, one of the things about this particular box here, it didn't have any, you know, uh, you know, protection for, you know, as far as the elements and so forth. So I made my own. <laughs> So this is my my cheap way of you know you know having some type of seal. So I made my own seal. Okay, but it works out. It works out great. Now, as I said before, you know I'm not about beauty. I'm about you know functionality. There's a lot of wires here, but you know hey, it works. It definitely works. Um, these these little microcontrollers. You know this thing is powered by five volts uh, from the battery, and obviously the battery is 12 volts, and this thing takes five volts. So essentially, I have another device that I kind of made. Um, to, to kind of do that and uh, basically this is a I made this little thing here you know I, I used an old Volo chip thing that I had I just just I just needed the box I didn't you know I, I ripped out the guts of the circuitry and so forth and uh, essentially there is a voltage uh, type of voltage regulator there that that steps down 12 volts and higher to 5 volts and so that's what powers this thing and uh, so it, it, it draws very, very little current. So, um, and also the battery is, is tied into the vehicle system. So if I flip this circuit breaker right here, if I, if I engage this circuit breaker, what it does is it actually, um, you know, it will allow the battery to recharge. So that, you know, that works out really great. Now, let's see it in action. So what it does is it, this allows me to essentially on a web page flip the you know click, hit a button and then re-engage or engage the circuitry for the car so that it powers up. Okay, now let's let's demonstrate. So just walk over here, open up the door on the side. Okay, you'll notice when I come in, you know, there's no lights or something like that. If I you know turn the knob, okay, you know if I turn the knob, nothing. It's dead, totally dead. So what do I do? I just come over here and again, I just, I added a button for my software here and I'm just going to turn the relay on. As soon as I turn the relay on, yep, car starts up fine, okay? Now, I look down here and I make sure that the battery voltage is pretty decent, okay? That's, you know, 14.1 volts. Okay, now what I do is I can actually, when I want to shut the car off, before I turn the car off completely, I make sure the capacitors are fully charged to like four, just over 14 volts. And I'll come over here and just say car relay off. So when I click that, I'll just turn the car off. And when I turn the car off, if I try to turn it again, well, actually, I guess I didn't, <laughs> I didn't click the button. All right, let's try it again. There we go. This time I clicked it. Okay, now I turn the car off. Now, if I want to turn it back on, it's dead completely dead so that is what i uh, that's my little project right now um so anyway youtube just something you know to give maybe somebody else some ideas okay take care